Kenya prepares to join other countries to celebrate World Mental Health Day Tuesday. Cases of mental illness continue to increase in the country. Health stakeholders have been urged to help break the stigma associated with mental condition. Frida Nyakio with details of that report. Mental health conditions are not given the attention it deserves by individuals, society and mental health policy makers. Speaking during the World Mental Health Awareness Walk in Thika, mental health champions are focused on promoting good health and well-being as a way to reduce the cases. A lot of people think about uh, mental illness and people with mental illness as only those that we see struggling, most of those we see on the streets. But what I like to tell the community is actually mental well-being is a need uh, that we all have and it does not discriminate. Many people who go to offices to work, many people who go to schools to teach, many people who are parents raising children are struggling with poor mental well-being. And because those people, they continue to function in society, no one is paying attention to that. And I say actually the bulk of uh, majority of people who are struggling with uh, poor mental well-being are those, those that are working. James Ngonjiri, who is a victim of mental illness, had suicidal thoughts before being treated and after he started Room 504, an organization that defends the right of the mentally ill. At Room 504 and the partners that we had today, we have started the conversation of it's okay not to be okay. As a man, where do you run to? when life hits you hard. Similar sentiments were echoed by Irene Joroge, a psychiatrist and a therapist, saying that mental health affects a wide range of persons who have failed to face the difficulties of life. When one is suffering from a mental illness, from a family or from a community, they're treated as a second rate. First, they are not even expected to make decisions as where to be treated and how to be treated and who should treat them. In fact, we make those decisions for them, which is wrong. Actually, the statistics are one in three have a mental health challenge. That's a big percentage. Frida Nyakio, TV 47. <laughs> Thank you, Frida, for delving into that particular topic. Elsewhere, the